I'm Lenny Green, baby, welcoming you inside of uh, the most sensual place to be. And as promised, the brother has arrived. So ladies, uh, come a little closer to me. I, I know you don't normally come this close, but I need you to come a little closer because in our company tonight is one of the highly respected, well-rounded uh, actor of film, actor of television, actor of stage. Uh, he is known to many uh, comfortably as Dr. Sheldon Hawks, but uh, to his friends, he is uh, Mr. Hill Harper. Welcome to Kissing Up the Dark Side. Oh, it's great to be on. You know, listening to you now, Lenny, I'm going to have to drop my voice. If you <laughs> no, please don't do that. I can't. I, can, I, can, I can't really be on this show. <laughs> yes, you can. Unless I drop it down. Yes, you can. And because I'm... this, you know, this sound, I feel, I don't even, like, if I talk about regular voice, I don't even feel like a man anymore. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't even go there, man. You know. But welcome, listen. welcome to your new home. Thank you. This is your new Good home in New here. York, man. So welcome, <laughs> no, brother. Thank you, man. No, it's <laughs> great. It's great. And thank you for having me on the show. You know, I, this is, New York is my heart and this, this city. And, and I was just telling Lenny, swear to goodness, um, off air, I said, you know, we need in L.A., mm -hmm. um, we need a show like this in L.A. Really? Because we don't have it. You know, no love show like this. I've been listening, you know, just the last few minutes I've been sitting here listening to three or four songs I've heard. I'm like, I need to hear these songs in L.A. You know, my love life would be a lot better <laughs> if I could turn on some Lenny Well, Green. before we get out of here, we're going to find out. The ladies have been just, hitting me up. Know, turn it up. <laughs> and I just drop my voice low. And say, baby, just listen to Kissing After Dark. Yeah, all right. Let me tell you something. Move a little closer. <laughs> Move a little closer. Touch my hand. <laughs> Don't be scared. Actor Hill Harper, with his crazy <laughs> self, is with us tonight. And you know what, brother? You have uh, accomplished so many wonderful things in life thus far, and it still ain't over for you yet, thank God. Thank you. You yeah, know, uh, you. you are now uh, uh, the author of uh, book number four. Yes. Which is called The Wealth Cure, uh, Putting Money in Its Place. And I want to talk about that tonight because uh, <laughs> you, you speak about it, um, you, know, you scratch the surface, as to say, in the conversation, which was the previous book about relationships and, and basically stirring up men and women uh, and, and getting them to talk. Right. And that's what we do in the next hour with Kiss and Tell. Um, so we're going to learn more about you for those who don't know about you. Ladies uh, and fellas, please give us a call tonight, 1-800-288-5477. But we're also going to learn something for the first time. Yes. What's your taste when it comes to slow jams so you can get your sexy mm. on, you know, and those ladies are rubbing your thighs. Okay. So I had Brother Hill uh, submit his five favorite slow jams. I did. And I, I, think, I think we need to roll the first one right now. What? Well, and you know who this is. Yeah, I do. See, can I just tell a quick story about uh, Lady Aaliyah, God rest her soul? Yes. You know, her, her song, At First You Don't Succeed, Try, Try Again, she wrote that for me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I didn't see that in the linear notes. No, no, no. no I'm, I'm serious. Because she, that song is all about a brother stepping up. <laughs> and that was you? It was me. Hell off it, baby. <laughs> Kissing After Dark with Michael Jackson and Rock With You. And we're inside of the perfect album side of uh, Brother Hill Hopper, who is in our company tonight. So welcome once again, brother, to love, the love zone, the relaxation moment. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you were about to engage in an interesting story. Yes. Uh, about Aaliyah. Yes. So could you finish this story? Okay. 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 Because somehow, I, ladies and gentlemen, he she wrote a song I've about thought, you. Listen, okay. I thought that she, I've always thought she was phenomenal. And I was in Los Angeles one day and I'd finished this movie, um, that one of my favorite films I've ever done, called The Visit. <laughs> and uh, a buddy of mine was invited to go to Leonardo DiCaprio's house. He was like, you want to roll with me? Leonardo DiCaprio's having a party. And okay. I said, sure. So we rolled up to... Leonardo DiCaprio's house, and in the kitchen, lo and behold, was Aaliyah. Aaliyah. <laughs> Just waiting and, for you, right? And uh, Kadada Jones. Wow. And they were in the kitchen together, and I was so nervous. Even, you know, I was, because I wanted to go up and say hello, introduce myself, you know, but I was just so nervous. And I remember, you know, you know my palms were moist, really? and I was, and I didn't know what to say, and so I went up and I just said hello, and they were very nice to me. You know, I think that at that moment she did kind of like me, but she was a little shy. Uh, at least that's my <laughs> that's own revisionist history <laughs> right. of it, you know, my own fantasy of it. And so that was that. So that was the first meeting. Okay. And then 
um, I went, my movie premiered, and I went with all my friends out to go out to dinner at this 24-hour spot in Hollywood, and she was there again. But this time the concert is your favorite. Exactly. I so, got you. so I, my buddy goes over without me knowing and says, you know, my buddy has this crush on you. Wow. Um, he thinks you're amazing. Wow. And she said, well, I'll come over in a little bit. So lo and behold, um, we, we pray over our food, and I look up, and she was gone. She didn't come over and talk to me. And I think that was her playing coy. Really? Yeah, not really, no. <laughs> she left. I you know, know I, I get it, I get it. <laughs> so, but that, I had to convince myself that that was that. So, mm. fast forward, I'm in New York now, and I get invited to go to a fashion show. It's Fashion Week. Okay. And uh, lo and behold, you know, they put me on the front row. It was a baby fat fashion show, and they sit me right next to her. And so she's sitting there, I'm sitting here, and we start talking, and we have this wonderful wonderful conversation and she's such a classy wonderful woman she is. and so it was the third time that I met her that um, we actually had a wonderful conversation so when she wrote that song um, you know at first you don't succeed dust yourself off and try again you gotta dust yourself off and try again she's really saying you just gotta talk to her three times and if you if you have the courage and the muster to talk to her three times the third time may be the charm so, what so I think that she wrote that song about Hill Harper that's a nice perception. <laughs> Far from reality, you know, but nice perception, brother Hill Harper. <laughs> Hill Harper is with us tonight. We're kissing never the dog, baby. That's right. We are. And he could be in a little hallucinating moment. It could be the grapes mm -hmm. tonight. Hey, right. I bred some grapes in for the brother. You know, try to keep everything healthy for Absolutely. Us. Thank you. So, uh, of course, Hill, Har uh, Hill Harper is the uh, author of a brand new book called The Wealth Cure. And uh, we're going to come back after listening to another one of your favorite songs and talk a little bit about this interesting book that definitely is affecting relationships. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The Wealth Cure. If you have picked one up already, that's a good thing because you can bring it with you tomorrow when you see him at Human Bookstore because I know you're going to be working around 6 o'clock. Yes. So let's uh, let's get into another one. For of those of you that live uptown, or if you don't live uptown, you can drive to uptown, 125th Street. I'll be there at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Sharp? Sharp. Signing books. I'll sign the old books, the new books. Yeah, everybody's got to buy a Christmas present, so go on my own and get a present. You know, that's a, that's a good thing, man. That's a really I'll sign good it thing. for Cousin Ray Ray and Bobo. <laughs> now, you know, it's so interesting. I was uh, with uh, Iyanla Van Zant uh, not too long ago, mm -hmm. and she's definitely embracing the new technology that we have here. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, she's also encouraging people to go out and buy physical books. Absolutely. And you agree with that? I have, absolutely. You know, there's something to a real book. And, and even if, if it's more convenient to read it on your iPad and download it to your Kindle, I totally understand that because it's easier to travel with those and you can have multiple books. But you're, the interaction you have with an actual physical book, first of all, they last forever. Mm -hmm. You know, I, the value of books is so much higher than people realize. People pay $127 for some Nike sneakers. Mm -hmm. Books tend to be between $15 and $30 somewhere, and they last forever. They do. They, they really never do. wear out. And we keep bookstores open. Absolutely. Because bookstores are closing. Particularly our bookstores. Local. Yes. Home-owned, homegrown, recycle, you know, recycle the dollars, y'all. Here's another favorite of uh, Hill Harper. Yes. Now, this is somebody I, Don't tell else. me you got another story for Well, Shade. I got a story about Shade. Yeah, but you didn't meet her, right? Well, actually, we met once. Oh, gosh. Here we go. 1-800-288-5477 <laughs> if you really want to talk to Hill Harper tonight. He can Come have on. a story about you. Call in and say what's up. <laughs> 